Hello there, I'm Vieno and this is my sixth video tutorial on D3. In this video I want to show you two things and the first one is uh, how to group SVG elements together so that we can apply, um, can transform them uh, as a whole. And uh, the second one, the second thing I want to show you is how to add an axis to our bar chart. So if we take a look at our bar chart here we can see that one obvious thing that is missing is an axis down here to display the values of, of the bars, right? We can see that they are different in width, but we can't determine how um, we have no like uh, ruler, if you will. Um, so first of all, let's, let's take a look at how to group SVG elements together. The way we do that is by using the uh, the group element, which is a component of SVG. Uh, so, the way first of all, let's uh, we head back over to our canvas variable here, and we can simply append a new element, and that is the G element, which stands for group. And if we just save here and take a look at uh, at the bar chart, nothing has changed. But if we look at the source code, we can see that everything uh, in our SVG container is contained within two uh, G tags, so within this uh, group that we've created. Uh, and this allows us to apply transformations to the whole group, to all of the four rectangles that we have in our bar chart as of now. So let's do something. Let's um, we can make use of a new attribute, which is the transform attribute. And the transform is used to uh, for things like moving the group to the right, moving it uh, down the page or rotating it and those kind of uh, those kinds of things. So the way to let's say we wanted to move it the whole uh, bar chart, let we wanted to move it down a bit and a bit to the right. Uh, the way we do that is make use of the translate uh, property or function and we just type in the values, the number of pixels we want to move it first of all in the uh, uh, x direction, that is the horizontal direction, let's say 50 pixels and the uh, vertical direction, let's say 50 pixels as well and uh, save and refresh and we can see that the whole thing moves down and to the right and as you can expect if we take a look at the source code our group element has this new property uh, that we're translating it as it's called 50 pixels to the, the right and 50 pixels uh, down the page uh, right so we are going to make use of this when we're adding our axis to uh, to our bar chart, we can change these values to make room uh, twenty and zero should be okay. That looks good. Okay, so the way you add an axis is simply let's first um, create a variable. You simply type d three uh, svg dot axis. And um, we need to supply, we need to hand over a scale uh, to the axis to, for it to be able to know what values to, sh to display, right? So we simply uh, use the scale method of the axis object and we define, we specify what scale it is, uh, it should use. So if we save here, nothing will actually change and that is because we have to call our axis to add it to the, uh, the, uh, the bar chart. And the way we do that is simply use, uh, using the call method and we call our axis within parentheses. And if we save now, we can see that we've got this uh, axis here displaying the values. So since this is our data set, goes from 5 to 60. 
uh, we can see that they it's displaying the proper values right because this one is has the value of 5 this bar and it ends right here and this one goes up to 60 so perfect but it looks kind of bad when we, we want to move this down uh, here so that it's not blocked by these uh, our bars and the way we do that is uh, use a group element so uh, we can remove this call here and we can just create a new uh, group uh, so let's see here canvas append we append a group and we give it a transform translate and we want to move it down right so the x position stays the same let's give it zero but we want to move it down say 400 and to this group we append or call our axis so call the axis and finish off with the semicolon save and refresh and we can see that our axis has moved down 400 pixels um, yeah I'm, I guess that's um, well I want I can also show you another let's go back to our axis here we can actually you can see that the default number of ticks as they're they're called these different values is I don't know what the default is but yeah I think it's 10 right here uh, we can actually change the number of ticks say if we wanted less uh, ticks we can use the ticks method in to our access object and just specify a number here so let's say 5 uh, and save and if we if we refresh here you can see that we have 5 ticks instead of 10 so yeah that's how you add access access to uh, your your charts uh, I'll see you in the next video